Between pollution, wastage, and general mistreatment, humans have done a pretty terrible job of keeping our planet clean and healthy. But thankfully, there are a few bright stars among us who lead by example for how we should treat planet Earth. Stay tuned for some eco-inspiration and for some unusual ways that you can help our planet. Number 20. A New Leaf Jado Payang, nicknamed the Forest Man of India, has been planting a tree a day for the past 40 years. In those four decades, he's turned what was once a sandy, barren shoal by the river Brahmaputra into a lush forest reserve. At just over 1,300 acres, his personal tree haven is bigger than Central Park. While Payang shows the incredible things one man can achieve, Pakistan is stepping up to show what happens when an entire country bands together. The Pakistani government has a goal to plant 10 billion trees over the course of the next five years, not only to resupply their depleted forests, but to counteract the effects of global warming. Trees can help by trapping carbon dioxide, one of the most damaging greenhouse gases, from the atmosphere, replacing it with the oxygen we all need. The initiative entitled Plant for Pakistan began September September 2nd, 2018, and planted one and a half million trees on that first day alone. And if you thought that was crazy, Ethiopia planted 350 million trees in 12 hours in a similar initiative in July 2019. Similarly, famous YouTuber MrBeast celebrated reaching 20 million subscribers with a challenge for his subs to help him get 20 million trees planted by 2022. Donate to Team Trees Online if you want to do your part. Number 19. Banana Bags Thailand has some gorgeous beaches, and one local company aims to keep it that way, by keeping plastic waste to a minimum. Remping Supermarket in Chiang Mai has ditched their plastic produce packaging for a greener alternative. Banana Leaves The leaves, which are cheap and readily available in tropical locations like Thailand, are secured with bamboo so the entire package can be composted after use. Number 18. Garden Greetings British company Bonjour Bloom has a simple yet ingenious plan to reduce wastage of a usually disposable item. Greeting Cards The company produces 100% biodegradable cards you can buy on Amazon that contain wildflower seeds. Once the recipient has read the card's message, they simply need to soak the card in water and bury it in compost. Within days, wildflowers will begin to grow from the card, providing much needed pollen for the neighborhood butterflies and bees. Number 17 beach signs that make you think twice. These beach signs aim to shock beachgoers into thinking twice before littering. Each post encases an often discarded piece of litter, noting how long each item takes to break down. Such a striking visual is a super effective way of encouraging change. Few people realize a cola can can remain there for another 200 to 500 years, while a glass bottle could take up to a million to decompose. Unfortunately, someone seems to have taken the mere one to five years for a cigarette to decompose as a sign of encouragement, but it's a start. Number 16, after beer snacks. Plastic products like beer rings snaring animals or being mistakenly eaten is sadly a common occurrence these days, but Saltwater Brewery in Florida set out to do something about it by creating edible biodegradable six pack rings for their beers. Made of barley and wheat, which are readily available thanks to their beer production process, saltwater breweries rings are perfectly safe for creatures to ingest if found. Not to encourage littering, but for people with chronic litteritis, it's a great solution while they learn how to be a decent person. Number 15. Trash Fishing The people of Quinana, Australia understand that clean waterways are necessary for all varieties of life to thrive. Plus, they look a lot better than polluted litter-infested waters. In order to stop pollution from infiltrating their water supplies, Quinana has begun covering drainage pipes leading into water reserves with nets. These trash traps collect debris from the storm drain systems and when full are removed and taken to a recycling sorting facility. It's simple, but it works a charm. Number 14, the greenest granny. After watching a TV show about plastic waste, a British grandmother was appalled. Inspired to make a difference, she cleaned up 52 UK beaches in just one year in 2018. Helped by her grandchildren, volunteers, and other campaigners, the 70-year-old gathered bag after bag of beach trash, inspiring many, and continues to do so to this day. Despite what some may believe, this green grandma proves you're never too old to make a difference. Number 13. The Nationwide Gust When assessing the health of our planet, the atmosphere cannot be overlooked. The burning of fossil fuels for energy of various forms is the largest contributor to air pollution. With this issue a hot topic, many countries are seriously investigating renewable energy as a permanent alternative. 
In 2016, Portugal proved to the world that renewable energy could be a reality and not just a dream. Amazingly, it powered the entire country for 107 hours using only wind, solar, and hydropower. It was a global zero emission milestone and set major goals for the rest of the planet. Scotland said, I see you, Portugal. And in 2019, the Scots generated enough power from wind alone to power two Scotland-sized countries. That was enough power to supply a whopping 4.47 million homes. Impressive, considering there are only around 2.6 million households in Scotland. Renewable energy is achievable. All it takes is for governments to step up to the task. Number 12. Recycling with Benefits In 2015, Copenhagen began changing the recycling game in a pretty unique way. Denmark offers small amounts of cash in exchange for returning empty bottles and cans. For homeless people, depending on this bottle-based income, the task of rooting through bins can be dangerous and dirty. So the city started adding shelves to the bins. Drink receptacles can be left on the shelves, helping to encourage recycling, all while benefiting those with the least in society. I'd say that's a win for everybody. Number 11. Fed to the Worms When one scientifically-minded Redditor discovered mealworms can digest styrofoam, he and his girlfriend constructed a mini farm from old plastic drawers for exactly that purpose. As mealworms are very easy to look after, this innovative method of breaking styrofoam down into shorter carbon chains could make recycling plastic a whole lot greener and easier. With green packaging solutions like these available, companies like Amazon should have a think about their own practices. Number 10. Millennial Utensils Mexico provides nearly half the world's avocado supply. When producing the foods these avocados are used for, the leftover seeds are usually burnt. But instead of burning the seeds, Biophase, a Mexico-based company, has started turning them into utensils and straws. These items naturally decompose within 240 days, are reusable, and have a similar feel to their plastic counterparts. And it goes without saying, they're perfect for guacamole. Number 9. Friends of the Forest If you ever doubt your abilities to overcome the odds and be the change you want to see in the world, look no further than Jai Hai Jia and Jai Wen Kui. The lifelong friends, one blind and one a double arm amputee, have managed to plant 10,000 trees in the past 10 years in their native China. They do so not only for the meager income the government pays them, but as a way to give back to the community that supported them with their disabilities. Their passion for the environment is motivation enough to overcome the difficulties life hands them, and they do so like no one else could. Number 8. Spaghetti Straws The next time you order a soda, consider your straw choice. Paper straws are increasing in popularity as single-use plastic straws are going out of fashion, but they tend to disintegrate before you finish your drink. Strudels, on the other hand, may be the next big thing. This Italian company makes straws out of uncooked pasta. Flavorless and resembling a traditional straw, these sippable noodles keep their structure with every sip and can even be eaten al dente or with bolognese sauce when you're finished or just composted if you don't fancy a soda flavored tinge to your meal. Number seven, coffee with a conscience. All over the world, conscientious coffee houses are implementing waste reduction in an incredibly simple way. Instead of throwing away all of their used coffee grounds and tea leaves, they place them in containers for customers to take home as free compost. In a similar vein, various beach cafes have begun offering free coffee in exchange for a full bucket of trash collected from the beach. If I spotted one of those signs on a Monday morning, the cafe would have more full trash buckets than coffee cups before they even knew what hit them. What? It's not like I have a problem. Number six, the outdoor fridge. A restaurant called Papa Davada in India began combating food wastage in 2016 by installing a fridge on the sidewalk directly outside its doors. The owners ask anyone with leftover food to place it in the fridge instead of throwing it away. Those that are hungry are welcome to help themselves to the food free of charge, whether they're customers or merely passers-by. The fridge only requires a small amount of energy and elbow grease to stay running and clean, but makes a big impact on those less fortunate and massively reduces food waste. Number five ultimate recycled restaurant. One pop-up restaurant, first constructed in New York in 2018, has quite literally turned the tables on waste. The Zero Waste Bistro is an innovative, movable, temporary restaurant that only contains items that are reusable or recyclable. The walls are crafted from recycled food containers and the dining table is made from a composite using treated post-industrial waste. All plates and cutlery are similarly recycled. If this catches on and eco-friendly restaurants look this good in the future, they could be made from recycled underwear for all I'd care. I'd still swing by. Number four, 
floating trash cans. Unless you've been living under a plastic encrusted rock for the past decade, you'll know our oceans have a serious pollution problem. Parts of our oceans and shorelines are choked with plastic and other waste. And while trash cans aren't usually available off land, one company is changing that. Seabin is a floating trash receptacle that is intended to be used at docks, boating clubs, and wherever humans commonly interact with the ocean. The floating garbage can sucks in water laden with debris, trapping trash and microplastics in the mesh bag inside before filtering clean water back out. Hopefully, these will eventually be suitable for widespread oceanic use, so turtles and dolphins can finally learn to toss paper into the trash can like the human pros. Number three, holy soaps. In a move that seems odd at first, one hotel has been removing the middle section of their soap to combat waste. But it actually makes sense, as it reduces the amount of soap being wasted through soap bars being thrown out after barely a single use. The removed center of the bar is able to be used to create other soap bars, and the gap gives some extra grip. No association with the wiener cleaner. I'll let you look up how that works. Number two, eco-friendly fashion. One commonly overlooked type of trash filling up landfills is clothing. Astonishingly, only 1% of clothes are recycled. Renew Cell of Sweden has a solution. They take unwanted and unusable cotton clothing to make circulose, a brand new material that can be used to produce clothing that's indistinguishable from fabric created from non-recycled textiles. Similarly, brands have begun recycling things like plastic bottles into t-shirts, which use substantially less energy than creating polyester from scratch. Or you could always cut out a few steps and go for something like this. Number one, got gum? It's not surprising that plastic is one of the most common forms of litter, but a polymer similar to plastic can also be found in an everyday item that many people regularly drop on the ground. Chewing gum. Gum takes decades to biodegrade and is an eyesore wherever it's found. It's also a totally disgusting thing to discover plastered to the bottom of tables. For these reasons, among others, Gumdrop was founded in 2009. Gumdrop affixes distinctive pink bins to lampposts and sign poles in cities, allowing passersby to dispose of their chewing gum. The confection can then be recycled into a moldable polymer known as Gumtech that can be used to create everything from coffee travel mugs to combs and even shoes. Until now, gum was the last thing you wanted on the bottom of your shoe. Not anymore. Could you see yourself adopting any of these game-changing, eco-friendly ideas? And do you have any of your own? I'd love to hear your ideas, so make sure you share them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.